Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use a product called Hexel, which lets you create your own cryptocurrency for your community or club or friends or whatever you want. Um, and it's a fully real cryptocurrency. So it's an ERC20 token on Ethereum, which is kind of like the standard token that people use for these ICOs or uh, crypto projects. But in this case, instead of this being uh, some like serious investment or scam or way to get rich, on this tool, you can just make a token for fun and start using it right away without being technical and without needing some big like crowd sale. So let's see, here's the landing page where I uh, got these little tokens just for, just for fun. Um, and if you look at the product, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. You can airdrop tokens. So uh, that means you can just create a bunch of tokens simultaneously and send them to a bunch of people at once. So everyone can start off with some of the token. And then it looks like uh, there's share. So you get a page for your token uh, where you can like add a description and an image, and then you can explore. So you can go find other tokens that people are have created on this platform and um, see what other cool stuff people are doing with it. And then just some testimonials here. So let's get started. So I'll just sign up. I, I already have an account, so I'll, uh, I'll just make a new one for, for this uh, video. So it'll be like, demo uh, on hexel.com come up with a username uh, say demo 99 and then uh, get a password okay so if we create an account we get to see the explore page right away which is pretty cool you can see some other coins here um, but let's start off by just creating a token so if I create a token, I can enter a name. So let's just come up with a, a fake token here. Let's call it uh, like Robo token, or robot. How about, yeah, Robo token works. And we'll make the symbol for the token, which is kind of like the stock ticker or something. Um, so like RT in this case. And then, uh, then we go through the process. So the first step to do this is uh, to sign the transaction to actually submit your token to the network. Uh, and whenever you pay, whenever you do a transaction on Ethereum, you have to pay a little bit of gas, which is like the fee that you pay to the computers on the network to process your transaction. So um, that's what this is. I'm using this MetaMask Chrome extension, which keeps a wallet for you. Um, and you do have to have a little bit of Ethereum in your account. Um, in my case, I have about $8 in my account, which is plenty. I think having at least like five dollars of ETH in your account is enough to get this whole process done and start using it. Um, and then this screen is a little confusing for, for new users uh, and like Ethereum newbies or whatever, but these two numbers, you don't really have to worry about a lot on this screen, but there is something called the gas price and the more you pay in gas, the faster the network will confirm your transaction. You're pretty much like, the more you pay, the faster it will happen. And just for the sake of this video, I'll increase this a little bit just to make this uh, go a little quicker. Oh, that's a lot of money. Maybe I'll do $5. Um, so this is just telling me the max total this will cost is $5. It can't be totally accurate in how it predicts, but we'll submit. And then once the transaction is submitted, you just wait for confirmation. Um, and notice this says this usually takes a couple minutes. So you can leave this screen actually. Um, or you know, close the window and come back later. But for the sake of the video, I'll probably just skip forward about a minute or two to when this finishes. All right, so the token is deployed. So uh, then we get the screen, go to my page. That's great. So here's my token. And I have a pretty blank page right now, but there's some cool stuff we can do. So first, maybe I'll add a description. Uh, this is RoboToken. If you are a robot, subscribe, and I'll send you some tokens. Whatever, whatever your description is, could be much more serious. There's like businesses on here with real tokens, but for the example, that's good enough. And then we can also add an image. So if we click this, uh, you just do a link to your image. So I have a, a robot image up here. I'll copy that image address and put it in. Okay, so now I've got an image. And then uh, the next thing that we'd wanna do is just start minting some tokens. So right now you can see the total supply is zero. Um, 
and that's just because I haven't actually minted any of the tokens yet. So the token exists um, on the network, but uh, individual like uh, tokens haven't been created. So I can just click mint tokens to, to do this process. And uh, I get this screen here. So how many tokens per person? Let's say 10 tokens per person. Uh, maybe I wanna uh, choose a few people and give them 10 each. In this case, then it says uh, enter any, any number of Ethereum addresses. So um, I'll just copy my own address for now. If you're the token creator, you might just wanna mint tokens for yourself. So I'll copy address to clipboard. So there's my address and then I can put in more. So maybe I'll pretend I had someone else with like another address. I'll just change one digit. And then let's just say three people and let's imagine all our addresses were this, actually this close together. So I've put in 10 tokens each, I've put in three people's addresses, and then I can add a message for this. So I can just say like, first airdrop, uh, just to give people some context for what are they getting tokens for. And if I click submit, once again, uh, I'll approve this transaction. And you'll notice that the gas fee is much less now. Um, it's only 70 cents. It was a few dollars before because we were deploying a whole new token to the network. But now that we're just minting tokens and, and sending tokens, um, the gas fee costs a lot less because it's a lot less work for the network. Um, again, uh, I'll probably skip through the pending process. This is maybe the, the main pain point of working with Ethereum is every transaction you do, there's this pending process, but um, it's pretty cool. So it's pretty cool for other reasons. So I'll submit this. And then once again, we get this, uh, this pending screen. So once this finishes, I'll resume the video. All right, so the transaction is done. So I can do another transaction uh, if I want, but I don't right now. So to continue on with the video, if we refresh our page, now we'll see, uh, okay, we see this screen. So now I can see the total supply has changed to 30 because I did 10 tokens each. And then I can see who are the token holders. I can see the three addresses that hold this token. Um, and I can see everyone's balance. So this is pretty cool uh, because everyone can keep track of who has how much. And um, the cool thing too is we have this little paper airplane icon where anyone who comes on this page um, can send tokens. So as the owner of this token, I have this mint button. So I can mint new tokens. But any of these people, now that they have a balance, um, can come on here and they can click this little paper airplane icon and they can send to each other. So I, you know, a user could come on here and say, I want to send two to, you know, this other address, uh, and I'm going to send it for, you know, uh, thanks. Maybe they did me a favor or something. So other people can send tokens from your page too. And okay. So that's pretty much the full, full process for creating a token. I can see my tokens here. So I've created one, which is RoboToken. That's the page I'm on, obviously. Um, so you can create it, you can mint tokens, you can send, you can change your picture, add a description. And then the other final cool feature here is if we go back over to the home page on Explore, well, first of all, we should be able to see my new token. Yeah, RoboToken, there it is. But I can also see all these other tokens that are on this page. So. Uh, if you want to find other cool tokens on this platform and maybe like find other communities using tokens, um, you can go check out other people's profiles too. So here's another token. Uh, they've linked to their site. Uh, they've got tons of, tons of token holders on here and I can actually subscribe to that token. So as a user, if I'm interested in hearing about updates from other communities that have created tokens on Hexel, I can subscribe to them and, uh, the, f the feature isn't fully built in yet, but uh, token creators will be able to you know, send out updates to all of their subscribers and say, hey, I'm, I'm doing a giveaway, I'm doing an airdrop, I'm doing a vote with my token, um, all kinds of different events that you could do with a token. And then uh, if you're subscribed, you'll, you'll get those updates. Um, so that's pretty much the full process. The one other thing you can do here is go check out your profile. Um, there's my username. I can add a bio and say like, I'm just a person creating my token. And you can update your bio, and then you can also see your subscription. So I just subscribe to that Buffer coin. I can always go check out all my subscriptions from here. So hopefully that uh, makes it easier for you to create your own token and do something cool with it. Thanks.